the Legend 24. The first several business jet that have been certified under the FAR 35 regulation. For our good project, we were requested to make a video regarding a system present in the Legend 24 that are related with the two electric nodes given. Electric and magnetic field, alternating current circuit generators and motors. After several discussion, we agreed on making the landing gear system as our project on base that we would not only have the legit landing gear but also the landing gear in our lab for guidance. The first ever Learjet 34 to take off was in January 24, 1966. In 2001, there were as many as 210 of these aircraft that are still available for service. At that time, 39 of the Learjets are grounded mostly because of accidents. University Tun Hussein Un quiet one of those aircraft back in 2012. The Learjet that Utation bought is an 8-seater aircraft powered by two General Electric CJ610 turbojet engines with each providing over 13.1 kN of force. The Learjet 34 can be categorized as a regional private jet with a flying range of 2,728 km. The aircraft are equipped with a retractable tricycle landing gear meaning that the landing gears are able to retract back to the fuselage and wings when not in use. The wheels are arranged in such a manner that it forms a triangular shape, hence the tricycle landing gear. The main function of the landing gears are to provide a medium for the aircraft to maneuver while on the ground. Such motion can be seen when the aircraft is landing, taking off and taxiing. The operation starts with a switch in the cockpit, where the inputs are added to the system, whether it's on or off. The input will then be directed to the motor contactor. The motor contactor acts as an adjustable resistance to limit the current in order to protect the motor it controls. The output from the motor contactor is then transferred to the electrical power motor. The motor is a direct current motor that changes electrical power provided by the motor contactor to mechanical energy that pumps hydraulic fluid in the system. The hydraulic pressure from the electric pump motor is then directed to the selector valve. Here, the selector valve will control the pressure flow direction to the required actuator, depending on the input. Finally, the hydraulic pressure arrives at the selector actuator. The actuator will retract the wheels and close the landing gear door, or open the landing gear door and extract the wheels. In the cockpit, pilots are able to determine the condition of the landing gear from the landing indicator. The green light indicates that the landing gears are fully extract or fully retract and lock. The red light indicates that the landing gear are not locked and free to move. At this state, the aircraft is not safe to land. The following direction flow are for the landing gear operating system. First of all, the input from the cockpit to the switch will allow AC current from the main battery to flow to the inverter. The inverter will convert the AC to direct current. The current will then be directed to the motor contactor. Here, high current will flow through the motor contactor to the electrical pump motor. The pump motor will convert direct current into mechanical energy to provide pressure for the hydraulic system. The hydraulic fluid will be directed by the selector valve based on the input. Finally, the hydraulic pressure will move to the actuator resulting on the landing gear motion. Landing gear model are suitable for studying purpose. Instead of a study about the theoretical part, students may well known by doing the practical or hands-on training. Students may clear about the principle of landing gear, how to operate and the design of landing gear, such as hydraulic system, pneumatic system, braking system, and electrical system. In fact, students may learn how to troubleshoot the landing gear in case of landing gear malfunction. To conclude our video, the landing gear system of an aircraft plays an important role in most aircraft operation. This include the Learjet 24. There are also a lot that we can learn from landing gear system in the electric and electronic perspective. We hope that you enjoyed the video and learn as much as we did. Thank you.